Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Pickers. If you haven't watched our previous video, then let me tell you that we built this big house in 60 days. Yes, in two months, we built a two-story house. This is how our first floor looks like now. It's really cozy here. We still need to do the renovation, flooring stretch ceiling and window seals here. And this is the second floor where our bedrooms are located. This is my bedroom with one window and over here it's Sergei's bedroom where there are three windows. It's not much larger, but it still visually looks much spacious. And today we decided what we need to do with the walls. Glue the wallpaper or paint it. Write your comments below, we'll definitely take them into account. And this is the most pleasant and wonderful place in our house, a summer terrace. This is a huge terrace of 15 square meters. It was a spontaneous decision to make it because we didn't plan it at all. But now we are very glad and satisfied that we have it. We have a lot of work to do this week. We need to put window sills, get water into the house, put the floor on the first floor. We don't yet know what to put, laminate or linoleum. We'll also continue the regiment of our sauna. Yes, we have a sauna here. Take a look. A real sauna. How do you like it? So one of the most important tasks this week is to patch up this pediment because when it rains all the water gets inside the attic. Therefore we need to close it all. Initially I wanted that we make a kind of folding balcony windows in the roof but we didn't do it so I proposed to put a normal large window on this pediment. As you can see here, we closed up the pediment with a rated concrete and on the other side it will be enough to close up with OSB. Damn, it's so heavy. So we'll have such windows. The size is okay. I think yes. It's really heavy. I don't even know how to fix it there so that it doesn't fall out. I bought a good window so that it was warm in our attic floor. It opens for ventilation as usual. This is surprising because I thought such a large windows wouldn't open like that. We have already started to insulate the roof over the terrace because before that only the part this is above the house was insulated and now the part above the balcony will be insulated. In this part mineral wool is needed much more because this part is located outside and from there the cold wind will enter the most. Therefore we insulate there as much as possible. What did you forget there? Well, before we make water distribution around the house, we need to connect it here at the source itself. You see, everything is already connected here. There is a hydraulic accumulator, automatic equipment. Here you say I twisted it off. Now you need to connect the pipe that goes to the house here. So will we have water in our house after that? We'll make the layout and then it will, of course. We must start with the most important thing, namely water. There I have already put the main switch so I can plug it here and close there. And then we'll lead the word into the house like a maze. I'm really looking forward to it because here mosquitoes bite a lot in the country house version of our toilet. I need a real toilet. So I connected the pipe or connected them over and eventually brought it here. If you saw how many problems there were, how much water was everywhere, I've been doing this all day. This is the first time for me, as you notice, something incomprehensible is going on here. There was a sewer pipe here, I brought the water through it. There was a water here. In general, when you do everything watching YouTube videos, it turns out of square. We're planning to make a drain pit at the top and we'll have a special pump that will grind everything that goes into the drain. Therefore, we'll just have a thin pipe there which will go into one large pipe next to it. It will go out there. Well Sergei did something as always but as per idea it should work. Here we'll have an outlet. At first we thought that we would hang a sconce here, that's why there is such a long wire. But then we changed our mind and decided that it would be better to make an outlet here because we'll have the sconce here. Aren't you making big holes? Our window seal is wider than the window frame itself, so it will still be mounted in the wall and then if required it will all be put it. Have you ever done this? No, but I've seen how it's done. So drum rolling. You made such a big hole. Now it's simply inserted in level and filled with spray foam. It fits well? Yes, it fits pretty well. But why it's so short? Don't you think it's short? No, it's not. It's enough. Mm -hmm. 
So how do we install the window seal? First we just put it and try it on, then level it and fix it with wooden bars. After that we foam it. Then we definitely put bricks here so that the foam doesn't raise our wind seal and spoil our level and it is as even as possible. After that, we form all the empty spaces that are left. Are you sure you're doing everything right? Because it seems as if he had been a builder of all his life and made this windowsill. In the balcony of my house, the windowsill is even attached with brackets. Here we'll see how it goes. Guys, there are so many problems. I'm now drawing a plan of thinking over the layout of a water drain system. Actually, there are a lot of different problems here. For example, we're wired here, but it's necessary for a pipe to pass here. The pipe mustn't come into the contact with the wire. Therefore, in order to lay the water pipes, I will have to lay them along the top, just because there is a socket for our boiler here. If we carry the electrical system from above, then these problems wouldn't exist. We still need to grow inside the wall where the battery is. I don't know if this can be done. Well, write in the comments, what do you think about it? So, as you can see, there are a lot of problems, but I think that we all come up with something and everything will be fine. Write your advice in the comments. Look what a mess it's now. We made our walls in order to spoil everything like that later. This is only the half because this is just for the water pipes and it will still go there. And also we need to do it for the savage system. It's all because we hadn't thought of everything in advance. No, don't worry, everything's good. The pipes could have been laid before the walls were plastered. Yes, it could have been. Guys, do you see this hole? You probably thought that we are crazy and we definitely ruined something. In fact, everything can be fixed very quickly. See how? For this we have the leftover plaster with which these walls were plastered. Since we filmed under the window cells, we definitely need to mash the reinforcement, because it can crack. It is the joints with the foam that can crack, so you need to reinforce with the mesh, then it's really important so to smear it with the smash again. Finally, we'll have a normal staircase to the attic, and I will be able to climb there normally. I'm already impatient to put up the stairs, clean up the attic and spend the night there. I think it will be a very cozy bedroom. There were two versions of leader, 60 cm and 70 cm. The leader connector is 66 cm here. I thought it would be better to take a wider one and cut 4 cm from here so that the leader would fit well. Firstly, the connector will be wider and secondly, if I take the less one, there would be a lot of free space on other sides. Therefore, now I'm removing the extra 4 cm and our leader should fit perfectly here. I wonder if it will fit or not. It's ideal in thickness. See, it fits perfectly. Maybe just a half a centimeter is here, but everything fits well. So, let's see. Wow, it's perfect. I mean, it's damn perfect. I can't imagine how I cut out like that. This is the first time it happened. And now it's the solemn moment. Let's try to open our stairs. Whoa, it's opening! Look! Next! Next, it is necessary to open it from below. Dima, open! Are you holding it? Yes, come on! Great! There you go! How's that? Wow, it's so long! Not scary! Now I can go down, yeah? Yes, just don't break it with your weight! <laughs> it can withstand 150 kgs! By the way, what is its length? Opa! I'm the first tester. How do you like it? It's really cool. Since this part here doesn't close, it will be necessary to file the legs because there is a couple of extra centimeters here. The ladder in this frame is so tightly located that heat will not escape from there and cold will not enter. Everything is almost tightly sealed there. You might ask how we're going to get this leader down. There is a super hook for that. This is how we get it. Hook it up and pull it down. Everything is simple and easy.
Now we are cleaning up this area, preparing the floor, and in a few minutes we'll have a cool new floor. So, are you ready? Yes, go for it! Wow! Amazing! With every passing day, our house is becoming more comfortable and it's hard to believe that a few months ago there was nothing here. Do you want to see more of it? In the next video, we'll glue wallpaper, make furniture and much more. If you like this video, then make sure to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It was interesting and thickest with you. See you soon! All I need is you, now and always Blah, blah.